three months ago, I made a video to show you how you can use JB Weld to put it on the tips of your steel toe boots to keep from them being worn through or to re-waterproof a hole that you've already worn into your boots. Several folks said they wanted an update, so here I am today to give you just that. So the last few months, I have worn these boots a lot and I've inspected a whole lot of rail cars. Hey, yeah, if you know, you know. Yes, that's my real job. I inspect and manage real cars for the company that I've worked for 17 plus years now. And when you're crawling rail cars, you tend to drag the tip of your boot on the concrete, on running boards, on top of the car, all over, and you wear a hole through the tip of your boot fairly quickly. And when this happens, they're no longer waterproof. I specifically buy waterproof boots and if I wear a hole through them, they just became useless to me. As I showed you in the first video, I applied a two-part epoxy to them, JB Weld. And I gotta say, so far, there is zero wear through the JB Weld, and it hasn't even hit the leather yet. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. I only applied one coat as well and it's holding up really well. You could always apply two coats to this if you're using it heavier than I am. Um, there was also an existing hole on these when I first did this, and that's the main reason why I wanted to jump in action and get this done, because these boots weren't that old. And it covered that hole. I've had these in the water, who knows how high, all over the place. Um, specifically walk through puddles just to see if I had any issues. And so far, it's been fantastic. Anyway, that's my update for y'all. Short and sweet. Hope that's the way you like it. They do make a product specifically for your boots. It's about 32 bucks. I'll link it in the description so you can look at it. Um, the JB Weld isn't a whole lot cheaper that I buy, but I buy it in the bigger jars, about 20 bucks. The thing about the JB Weld is I already had that on hand and I use it for other applications. I use it all the time in woodworking, whatever I'm doing, all the different projects. I somehow need some JB Weld and it's useful in other areas. Whereas if you buy a product specifically for this, they probably give you just enough to do your toes and that's all you're getting out of it. So I think it's a better deal in my opinion. That, and it didn't really take much to cover the toes. If you watch that first video, which if you haven't, I, I uh, suggest you go back and watch it, but I ended up mixing up way too much, had a bunch left over. So I, you don't need that much at all. And you can always do a little bit, put it on, let it cure, rough it up, add another coat, you can get this as thick as you want. And I think it would really hold up well. I'm leaving this info for you to decide. That's all I got. I'll see y'all next time. Hope you enjoyed the video.